What's up? This is Rap Hits. And so R. Kelly and Tory Lanez looking like they trying to get out that jam. R. Kelly talking about he got some lawyers on the case right now. And they about to turn up. They about to say, like, that evidence was not good that they used. They said those girls said their age, you know, they said their age was higher, I guess, sometimes than it really was. So he had no way of knowing. And I guess he's trying to say, like, a lot of them was actually of age when everything went down. I don't know. He He's trying to act like he's saying, basically, the evidence wasn't substantial enough to convict him. And he has a lot of reasons why. Well, I guess him and his lawyer might have came up with these reasons. And they're trying to say that the evidence didn't uphold to the standard to be convicted, especially for so long. Uh, of how many years he got and they're trying to say that it was unprecedented how how many years he got and i guess that's kind of true because like you know there was other people like the epstein girl maxwell she got way more years oh wait wait way less years than r kelly but with r kelly also i guess they're trying to say like how was it a rico if y'all y'all didn't catch nobody else it was just r kelly so why is he being charged with a rico so you know, he might have a few points. I mean, we'll see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets out because it'd be kind of like Cosby, you know. It's like they just got to go through the motions for the public with with these celebrities. It looks like sometimes they got to they gotta get, um you know, get that case through the courts and process everything legit. And then after that, they can find ways to get them out. So it wouldn't be surprising. I, that wouldn't be a bad bet almost for, for people to uh, figure out, like, Okay, do you think R. Kelly will be out in 10 years or not? You know, something like that. Um, Bill Cosby, he didn't do nowhere near 10 years. He was out, like, pretty quick, actually, once once they went through the process for the public. So, I really, you know, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if R. Kelly got out maybe in a couple years, maybe even less, who knows, but... That was kind of a crazy trial. Same thing with Tory Lanez. I mean, look, I got some audio to play for you for the Tory Lanez thing. Tory Lanez about to request this on May 8th. He he actually was kind of talking crazy um, to the DA. I'm going to play this clip. I, I don't know if it's Tory talking or if it's somebody talking for him, but it's what he wrote. So Tory Lanez is wilding out before his sentencing. Yes, go. I write this message with the utmost humility, love, and respect for the remarkable steps that you've taken in regards to fighting for the justice of black and brown minorities. Today I take a stance as an innocent black man, wrongfully convicted of a crime I did not commit. I've watched two district attorneys from your office by the names of Kathy Tarr and Alex Bott unlawfully misuse their authority to hide and suppress any and all exculpatory evidence that exonerates me and furthers my innocence. I was completely robbed and deprived of a fair trial. So on May 8th, my lawyers will be arguing a motion for a new trial. Not only do I owe it to myself to fight for my freedom, but I owe it to my six-year-old child, my family, my fans, and most importantly, the hundreds and thousands of black and Hispanic minorities that cannot adequately fight for themselves. For three years, the prosecution has manipulated a false narrative that has left me with no choice but to expose the practices, the behind-door deals, and the unjust system that was used to illegally convict me and countless other minorities. We elected you because of your outstanding eminence in making fair and correct judgments in the justice for people of color. So, Mr. Gascon, I come to you today as a wrongfully convicted black man, not asking for sympathy nor compassion, but for you to simply do what is fair and right in the laws of California, and most importantly, in the eyes of God. Yeah, that was Tory Lanez. That was Tory Lanez. So, they they have him on audio. He, he wants a new trial. Yo, that's the same thing that R. Kelly is looking for, come to think about it. I think they say... He has a few options, like they're willing to accept. They want like a new trial or they want it thrown out or they want the sentence reduced. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to work with the DA and the judges to get a more lenient outcome from what happened. Tory Lanez wants a new trial, it sounds like, or he's trying to pretty much say that they convicted him wrongly. Here's the thing, though, with Hurricane Chris, he had, he had dropped somebody. You know, he caught a body. Uh, he caught someone lacking outside his car and took him out. Um, he was saying it was self-defense. And they wouldn't drop the charges. 
when they went to trial, though, the thing with Hurricane Chris is against all recommendations, he went up and took the stand. So maybe that's what they should have done. I mean, I'm this is not legal advice or nothing, but look, Hurricane Chris, they rec- it was sounded like they were saying, do not take the stand. And he it was up to him though. He ultimately made the decision. It was still his choice, even if the lawyer was advising against it and all that. It was still up to Hurricane Chris. And he went up and took the stand and ended up beating his case at trial so he got his charges dropped and dismissed he said it was self-defense and he took the stand i guess that's kind of i guess these artists are kind of scared to take the stand i mean tory lanes i guess what he didn't want to come off like a snitch or something i don't know what it was because if he didn't do it maybe he should have been up on the stand and saying who did it then and answering all the questions honestly and truthfully. I mean, they always say, let the lawyer do the talking. You just sit there. Don't say a word. They try to say. They, the lawyer will handle the case. They always try to say. But Hurricane Chris went against all odds. And it worked out in his favor. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're truly innocent, that's your time. Oh, same thing with um Anthony Shakur. Um... So Tupac's mom, she uh, was facing some serious charges with about 12 others in the Black Panther group. And, um, you know, she ended up be- being her own lawyer against all recommendations. And the reason why was so that she could talk to the jury directly and the judge. And she was prepared to proclaim her innocence. Cause she knew she was innocent, I guess she, she was saying. So I don't know. I mean, if you're truly being railroaded and you're innocent, maybe that is the time to take the stand. And, and, and if if you're in that situation where they're trying to say you did something and you know you didn't do nothing, I don't know. I mean, all, they said um with Hurricane Chris, DA had a whole bunch of uh, witnesses lined up. I think it was like 15 or something, and. That's how they do. They try to get all these witnesses and they try to have them all take the stand. But sometimes, you know, basically, if you didn't do nothing, it don't matter if they get 100 witnesses against you. If you didn't do nothing, it's kind of, you know, I think that's the time. If you really innocent, maybe that is something to consider. If if if, if Tory gets a new trial, you all think he should take the stand. And if R. Kelly does get a new trial or get that case overturned. I mean, what, what do y'all think is going to happen with that? You think R. Kelly going to get out? And do you think Tory Lane going to get a new trial? I mean, look, they, they got an uphill battle, but it's not over for them. I mean, they can keep fighting. That's what, that's what people do. I've seen a lot of people get interviewed on Vlad TV that got life sentences and they out now. It might, some of them, for some of them, it might have took a long time to get out. But eventually, sometimes there's a loophole and, and and they can get out no matter how bad it looks at first when when they go in like, oh, this is it for life or whatever. Or, or they got you, you know, they, they can end up getting out. Now, with Tory Lanez, he is bold, though, the way he talking, the way you heard him talking on there against the D.A. And he hasn't even been sentenced yet. That's the thing. He's trying to beat this before sentencing. He's trying to get a new case, a new trial before sentencing even happens. But that's kind of bold because the judge can take that and get some payback. It seems like some of these judges, they just they get angry at stuff like that. And they look like you're they look at it like, oh, you you got proven guilty in the court of law and now you're mocking the system. So. I don't know. I mean, it would have probably been best, I would think, for Tory Lanez to not have said that, to just have the lawyer do all the talking. But I don't know. That was that was crazy to me because if if he doesn't get that granted, I think that might that might actually hurt him when he's getting sentenced, and the, the judge might give him even more time than they were going to give him in the first place. So let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section.
This has been Rap Biz. Check the description box for links. Like and subscribe. I'm out of here.